Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you Vivaldi browser review and setup. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we'll be showing you how to set up and use Vivaldi here. So what we need to do first is we need to access any browser that you already have on your PC. Now in this case, once you've opened up your browser, you need to go to the official website for Vivaldi, which is Vivaldi.com. Now from the main webpage here or the homepage for Vivaldi, you should see the following option here. So first is the download Vivaldi and the explore features. Now if you want to learn more about Vivaldi before actually install it, you can go and click on explore features here and you'll be able to see different features that they offer on Vivaldi. So in this case, you should be able to see different uh, information about it. But in this case, what we need to do next is we just need to start downloading it. And I'll be showing you some of the things that you can do in actually in Vivaldi. Now, the download process might take some time. So go ahead and just locate it and wait for it to finish. But once it's actually finished, you could go ahead and open up the folder where it's actually located and basically start the or initiate the process for you to install it. So in this case, Let's go ahead and open up the folder where Vivaldi is created located. And what we need to do here is basically double click on the .exe file that we see for Vivaldi. Now, once you've done that, it should prompt you to want to run this file here. Click on run. And once you've done that, it's going to initiate the installation process. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to basically indicate where we want to install Vivaldi. So in this case, I'm going to retain this uh, location here. But if you want to change the location, you could go ahead and click on Browse and choose a folder where you want to install. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and click on Accept and Update here or Accept and Install. And from here, it's going to start installing Vivaldi here. So in this case, let's just wait for it to complete. And once installation is actually complete, it should actually open up a Vivaldi browser here and you should be able to see the current uh, article that you'll see here. Now, in this case, we first have to discuss the interface for Vivaldi. So in this case, if you're used to the interface for Google Chrome or for Firefox, the interface for Vivaldi can be kind of new to you. Now, in this case, at the left side here, you'll have your usual tools here. So as you can see, we have Wikipedia, or when you click on the left panel here, it actually opens up a uh, different uh, shortcut. So we have Wikipedia here, we have Vivaldi, and we also have this section here for the M here, which is uh, a search engine. Now, you could go ahead and uh, browse whatever applications that you want to visit here. And you also have these sessions here if you added di different sessions. Now, in this case, you also have the window section here, which in this case, you should be able to see different windows that you already have or the recently closed tabs that you have. Now, this one is actually pretty helpful. Like, for example, you've ac accidentally closed a bunch of browsers and you want to make sure or you want to basically uh recover that specific uh, tab well this one is going to be something really helpful now we also have the translate tab here which is something really cool like if you want to translate a specific uh a sentence or a specific phrase without actually using your browser so for example you could go ahead and start browsing here on your uh, on in your tab here and for example if you're in facebook you should be able to browse facebook here and you saw something you could just basically copy that text and it in here and auto to detect uh, the tension for the language and convert it to English. So if you want to basically convert that or translate that, you can go ahead and do that. Now we also have the note section here. Like for example, if you want to add or rapidly add notes, like for example, I want to say uh, pay uh, due tomorrow. I could just quickly add this one. And from then, I should be able to take notes very quickly, actually. You don't have to use any other applications. Just within Vivaldi, you, you, you should be able to do a bunch of things here. Now, also, we have our history here, which includes the history or the previous uh, type or the previous windows that we visited or the previous uh, web our websites that we actually visited. This is where you'll be able to see it. Now we also have the download section here. So if you download anything, this is where you'll be able to find them. And from here, we also have the reading list here. So in this case, if you add a, uh, like for example, if you want to add a new one here, or add a specific website here, you'll be able to add them in your reading list. And here we have our bookmarks. So bookmarks is a great way for you to add a bookmark or save some type of website if you want to uh, view them for uh, view them later on. 
Now, in this case, uh, if you click on the top left here, you should be able to access the file here, which in this case, you'll be able to do the following, new tab, new windows, new private window, which is incognito. Also, the open file, open file location, close tab, close window, and a lot more. Now, I also have the edit here, so undo or redo. So you could do uh, basically use the shortcuts here. So if you see Control Z, Control Y, that is the shortcut for that specific type of action. Now, there's going to be a lot that you could do here. So in this case, what are the other things that we could do? So by the way, if you want, if you want to close this settings here or the window here, just click on the X here to close that panel. Now, in this case, at the top right, you should have the option to basically log in into your account. So if you have your account, you'll be able to sync your session to your uh, other devices. So this is actually pretty great if you have your account or if you create your account, th that is something really helpful later on. Now, we also have the show closed tab section here. So another way for you to access recently closed tabs, so this is where you'll be, you'll be able to do it. Now, also at the top right, you have the current session that you have right now. So we have this account here. So this is just a guest account, but you could still basically customize it as you can see, although it's a guest account here. So in this case, you could also manage your profiles here. So if you want to add a new profile, but this one is just a local profile. So if you want to access your profile in another uh, location or another device, then you might need to create your account. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to uh, change a few things here, so for example, by default, we have our search being uh, section here, but you can change this to a different one. So you could go to Google here if you want Google search via Google. So for example, I'm just going to type in the following word. And whenever I type on this one, it's going to automatic search that. And as you can see, I'm now searching on that specific type of engine that I chose in here. Now, if you want to bookmark something, you could go ahead and click on the bookmark icon here. As you can see, added to bookmark. If you want to remove that, you could go ahead and click on again, click on remove, and that should remove it in itself. Now, in this case, uh, that is how you actually start using Vivaldi here. Now, if you want to change a few settings on your browser here, you can go ahead and click on the settings at the bottom left here, and that should actually boot up this pop-up here. Now, in this case, you should be able to change your appearance here, your teams, your start page, if you want to add anything. Like for example, show title or show title on hover only. So if you want to adjust your speed dial appearance. So by the way, your speed dial here, it's going to what it's going to look like. So you'll be able to easily access certain websites whenever you add them in here. As you can see, I'm able to change it. So if you want to uh, basically change them, this is where you'll be able to uh, do that. Now, also, you also have the tab section here. So if you want to uh, change your tab uh, look, so you have at the top section, which is the default one here, but you can change this to left if you want to, right or bottom. So it depends on your taste. Now, there's going to be a lot of settings that you can change here, a full set of customizations that you could do. So in this case, I'm going to show you one cool trick that you can do on Vivaldi here. So that cool trick is actually utilizing different browsers at the same time. So for example, in this browser here, maybe you're uh, in Facebook and the other tab here, maybe you're in YouTube. So let's just open up YouTube here. So what we, uh, what we want to do here is we want to simultaneously view these two tabs here. What you need to do is you need to first select the first tab, press and hold on your shift, press on Facebook, Right click on the tabs that you've selected and choose the tab to tabs option here. And as you can see, it now loads up our window or our Vivaldi browser that has that two tiles present. So now you could basically access Facebook at the left side, or right side here, and you can even access YouTube at the left side here, which is a very, very cool trick here on Vivaldi. But yeah, so that's about it. So the usage of Vivaldi here is somewhat uh, very convenient if you want to uh, basically customize or really customize your browsing experience on the internet. Now, if you're looking for something uh, a lot more uh, simpler, you might have or you might 
need to consider using other browsers because uh, again, Vivaldi here is has a full set of uh, customizations, that, customizations that you could do, and it might not fit uh, fit everyone's taste because as you can see, it's quite different with the usual uh, setup or how browsers or the trending browsers or the uh, browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox actually looks like. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.